this hard sharing this with y'all. So hard. <laughs> like it tastes good but then the more you eat it there's like this powdery consistency taste mm -mm. that's not really good yeah it tastes better on yogurt I need to make my own granola like I used to I got pecans I need some um, gray A maple syrup or honey. I think I'd rather have honey. I'm gonna get me some more honey because this honey is not the business. It is basically gone. So I need to get honey. I got pecans. I'm gonna do pecans and almonds. I don't know, we'll see. Because the almonds I got aren't thin sliced and I don't feel like slicing them. So I'll probably just do pecans make my granola with pecans yeah I think I got enough and make my own cereal and something to munch on myself oh yeah I got more than enough pecans I'm gonna make me some granola probably do it tonight or in the morning yeah so we shall see y'all let me finish eating this pottery stuff it's just like I don't know Ugh. Ladies, 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 do y'all know? Do y'all know what this is? Ew, I don't want to wear this hat. I'm going to wear this hat. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all might see what this is before this day, which is Monday for y'all. Um, Because I might go live the weekend before this Monday. So, all right, y'all. I'm Jim and I'm eating some of these white cheddar crackers. Naya at bowling with her friends. Look at her. She even paying attention. <laughs> they getting ready to bowl. All her friends are here and somebody else is on their way. I want to get a picture with y'all with y'all um, shoes on. Oh, Richard's on. <laughs> yeah, put his on. No, yeah. no. no for real, it's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, really long. Put them on, put them on. Stand right here. <laughs> nice. Stand, put them on right there so I can take a picture. Nice. <laughs> Get up there, Nye. Get up there. Ready? Do it. Let me see that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Nairi, her friend wear a 17 and she got shoes on. <laughs> so today was an absolute struggle. We already know that change begins with our choices. And we already know the choices that we make create what's going to happen for us and what we will become. But why, why, why is it so tough to make decisions that come? Because our comfort zone is so easy and it's so simple for us to stay there. That is so hard to make a decision when we know in our conscience what we should do. We know we have a good, a better or a best decision to make. But why is it so difficult? Today was a difficult day for me. I made some very bad decisions and ate things that I shouldn't have. But I have to own it. Not only will I own it, but I must share so you guys can be inspired because you can be going through the same thing. I'm watching Beyonce's um documentary on Netflix and I'm just gonna dance and burn some calories. So let's get it started. I just started it. Zero, let's see you. Let's get 200 in. I told y'all it's a struggle. Did I not want to get up and do anything today? Of course. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to do anything. It was one of them days. But 
I decided that if I don't, I'm going to move and make it fun. long as I'm moving, I don't give a dang. I'm going to make it fun and just move and get these calories burning. So it done hit one just for me doing that. So let's get this thing moving. Because you know you burn calories automatically. But to burn more, you got to move more than normal. So let's get going, y'all. Y'all, I hit my head on the ceiling like three, four times. That's why Rizzy is laughing. I only sped this up to two times the speed. So you guys can kind of hear her laughing in the music a little bit. So I'll just be going in and out so you can see kind of how I'm moving and what um, pace I'm moving in while I'm doing this movement to burn calories. so bad <sighs> consistency is hard <sighs> my ankles hurt my feet hurt I don't want to be this size because <sighs> it's taking a toll on me and it's just crazy because I'm watching this um documentary and I'm hearing things that Beyonce is saying and sometimes I feel bad like some people are like, oh, girl, you're fine. You're fine. You're not that big. But y'all don't know what I feel inside my body. And I'm listening to her and all the issues she had when she was only one, 210 pounds. And I'm like, people don't understand a person's situation unless they're in it. You know what I mean? And I found myself sometimes when people are like, one something. And they just look so tiny to me. I mean, some people can't have issues with wanting to lose too much weight and overdo it. But then again you got some people who just are not used to being a certain size just because I look good to you or I, or somebody may look good to me 
if their body's not used to a certain weight, you can't judge them. You can't judge them. Yeah, you might be bigger. Because I've seen girls way smaller than me. And I'm like, girl, please, you don't need to lose no weight. Or, girl, you're fine. And I get people telling me that. And I get offended. Like, let me do this. I don't like me. I don't like my body. Not me, my, my characteristics, who God made me, but my body. Because physically, I'm not comfortable. Physically, I can't wear what I want to wear. I don't feel like I'm the diva that I used to be when I get dressed. I just don't feel like me being this size. And that has stunted so many things with my businesses and everything. Because it's like, it's a difference when you are comfortable. It brings out your confidence that you already have, but it just brings out in a different way. I like people to feel comfortable around me and I want to feel comfortable around people. And uh, I, so many times during these, it's going on 30 to be 30 days and this Wednesday, which is three days away. Well, what is it? one, two, four or five days away or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, I like literally want to just say, forget it. Why? Because I see girls way bigger than me that are still rocking their clothes and rocking themselves and just living. And I'm like, but how do they feel when they go home and they're by themselves? You know what I mean? And even with me being a size that I know I am comfortable with, some people may say the same thing to me. Oh, she's a big girl. She look confident and stuff. But do she really? Because they may think I'm too big. For In their eyes, I may be too big. You get what I'm saying? In their eyes, I might be overweight or unhealthy. And that's all a matter of opinion. And yes, we know that the the way that they say your weight according to your height ratio is basically not really based on... It's, it's not based on realistic goals. Because a lot of us will look sick if we decided to. Because they say for me, I think they told me I should be like one... I think it was like 154, 150 ish, somewhere around in here, 150, 160. I'm like, heck no, I can't see myself being that small. I don't want to be that small. That's not even, I would be uncomfortable. You get what I'm saying? So, just to see and feel my weight now, it's like, oh, it just seems like forever. I'm not going to not share this with y'all because I don't know who's watching. Like, it, it takes everything in me. I have to motivate me. I have to say, get up, girl. Go do something. Get up. Go do something. Nobody's going to do it for me. You have to do it for yourself. And I'm hoping that me doing this is encouragement to somebody because this is so embarrassing to me. It's embarrassing. But as I'm doing it, I go into another mode of thinking. This is getting you to where you want to be, where you're going to be happy. So I start loving me even in this mode even when I'm dancing and doing what I'm doing I start feeling myself and it was crazy because one of the songs that came I've never seen this before me and Rizzy decided to watch this while I was exercising because I was sitting in the room watching it doing nothing I said let me get up and do my workout now let me get up and do my workout now since I didn't work out today so when I'm feeling myself came on I'm like I really am feeling myself but I'm feeling myself to the point where I love me so much that I gotta do something about it and it just made me just really want to go harder and just say Camille you got this you got this keep on keep on keep pushing keep pushing but y'all this is not easy this is not easy when you don't have uh like I was watching something the person said um nobody coached you to put the food in your mouth nobody um is is your buddy to to get you to where you are so if you want it bad enough you're gonna do it with or without a workout buddy or with somebody else that's like you got this go 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 because if they don't feel like encouraging you anymore then what you're going to give up on yourself and I said no I can't I can't because this is not about y'all it's about me but I'm sharing this with y'all because it's somebody out there that's going through the same thing as me and I promised my babies, my girls, I said that we want to do stuff and more things and stuff, but I'm, I'm always lethargic. I'm always not wanting to do stuff. We do stuff, but not like we should, not like I really want to. I've invested in things and wasted money, I feel, because I didn't utilize things or go places and go on trips because I wasn't comfortable with the trips. Can you give me some tissue, baby? With the trips or whatever. And so 
I don't want to keep doing that. I'm getting older. I'm still young, but I am getting older. And I don't want woulda, coulda, shouldas in my life. So I have to do something. And y'all, this is hard. It is hard. <sighs> mm, like Marcia said, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I got to stop saying hard. <sighs> it is a challenge. And I just want to share that with y'all. Stay tuned because Wednesday, I will be doing a weigh-in and seeing where I'm at and seeing where I'm at. Um, and has it, has it my hard work paid off? And what should I do differently the next 30 days um, to amp it up? Because I know I didn't do what I should have did these 30 days. I, it's still trial and error. And I know it's not going to be perfect. I know I'm still going to have issues with certain things. But... I'm going to push through it. I'm going to push through it. My goal, ultimate goal, is to see 200 pounds. Like, 200 pounds is what my my first, my major ultimate goal is. I really don't want to be no, no smaller than 200 pounds. And my biggest goal before, I mean, my um, goal before then is the first 30 that I told you guys about. Then it's the first 60 and then I want to remove that whole 90 you get what I'm saying and stay in that range so that I have that comfortability because around 230 I'm okay because I'm tall 230 I'm okay so if I can get there that'll give me wiggle room to live my life and be able to get on track that's why I say 200 because between 200 and 215 it's like hey girl it's about to crawl back up on you get it right you get what I'm saying <sighs> I don't hide this stuff from my babies. I, my, she's sitting here, right here, watching me. I seen the way she was just looking at me. But I want them to know that life is going to have challenges, things that you may not like and you don't want to do. But it's a sacrifice for a better tomorrow and a better later. And so you just have to push. Even if nobody else pushes with you, you push. You push because you don't know who's watching you. Let me get off. I don't want to ramble too long because I'm really going to go in on Wednesday with more details of some of the things that I went through during this journey. But I love y'all. Thank you for the encouragement. And if you watch this far, just put hashtag CPR got this. CPR got this. Lady Gators, I love you guys so much.